Hi there and welcome. I'm Rebecca Weaver. We're going to be solving a system using substitution today. So first up we have a couple of equations and I'm just using the same exact equations that we used um, in our last lecture where we were solving the system by graphing. So this is the same set of equations. This is what we ended up with. We ended up with two lines. They crossed at the points negative 2, 2. So the solution can be written as x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 2. Our two equations are y equals 3x plus 4 and 2x plus y equals negative 6. Now to solve a system using substitution, what we're going to do is write one of the equations as either x equals or y equals. And we do whichever one is easiest. And then we'll substitute the rewritten formula into the other equation. Then we'll solve the equation and substitute our answer into the equation and solve for the remaining variable, the remaining unknown variable actually. So let's look at our two equations. We are in luck. One of them already reads y equals, so I don't have to really do step number one. I just have to note that it says y equals and plug it in to a, my other equation for y. So here I've done that. In place of y, I've written 3x plus 4. So I now have 2x plus 3x plus 4 equals negative 6. I'm going to go ahead and combine the 2x and 3x and say that 5x plus 4 equals negative 6. Next, I'll subtract 4 from both sides, and then I'll divide both sides by 5, getting x equal to negative 2. Hey, that's what we got last time. Notice x was negative 2 before. Now, what I'm going to do is substitute this negative 2 into one of my two equations to figure out what is my other unknown variable, in this case y. So I'm just going to pick an equation. I like y equals 3x plus 4. You can use the other one. You'll get the same answer. Then I'll substitute in that negative 2, and then I'll just compute my answer. And I'll get y equals negative 6 plus 4. y equals negative 2. That's my other answer. Now another way you can write this is as a point. Negative 2, negative 2. All right, let's play this again. This is another system that we solved last uh, lecture. And we did it using graphing. So we already know what the answer is. The answer is x equal 1, 0, or the point 1, 0. We're going to solve this using substitution because we're going to learn several different methods. And did you ever notice about this graphing? It has to cross right on smack dab on a cross point. Or I really wouldn't be able to tell if this crossed. Say it didn't cross right there on the point. Say it crossed like at a half point or a third or two thirds. How am I going to tell what that is? So while graphing is a great way to uh, solve these systems, Visually, it doesn't always get us an exact answer. So these particular methods that we're going to learn next, substitution and um, using the addition, subtraction, or elimination method, those methods get us the exact answer. So here we are. We have y equals on both of these. Wow, we're lucky. So we're just going to take and say, well, if y equals, so I'm just going to plug it in for the other y, getting 2x minus 2 equals negative 5x plus 5. Now what I'll do is add 5x to both sides. You see that I did that. And I now get 7x minus 2 equals 5. I'll add 2 to both sides. And then I'll get x equals 1. Bam. There's my first one. That's what I got the other time. You better get the same answers that you do with graphing, hadn't you? So now I will plug this into my other equation, whichever one I like. I'm going to use 2x minus 2, plugging in that 1, crunching my numbers, y equals 0, same as I got before. I can also say that it is the point 1, 0. Let's do one more. Once again, it is the same one that I did before. It's the equations y equals 3 and 2x, I mean 2y minus 3x equals negative 6. We solved this one before, found that the solution was x equal 4, y equal 3, can be written as a point, 4, 3. So I'm going to write down these two equations. Wow, this just says y equals 3. I'm just going to plug that in for y. 
and I'll end up with, crunching my numbers on this, x equal 4. Then what I'll do is write down y equals 3. Bam! Done. Of course, you could write it like the point 4, 3. All right. This is solving our solution by using the substitution method. And we did it first by graphing, and then we did it by substitution. All right. If you have any questions, be sure and email me. Have a wonderful day.